When you write a scope, you might create a form based upon primitive objects just to describe the volume. And you'll use sculpting to redefine the shape and to give it a lot more detail. So start out with, maybe you start with a primitive like this sphere, and then you would clone it like this and then just rescale it and position it just to get your parts into some form, some volume. Now this isn't ready to sculpt at all because we have to do two things. One is to connect them, well actually three, connect all the objects, refine those connections and give it enough surface material to be sculpted on. Right now, if you start to try to sculpt this, selecting everything, going under mesh tools, sculpting tools and scope, look what's gonna happen. Everything's just gonna fly off on their own, which is kind of entertaining, but nothing you want to really happen. First step is to combine everything together. So selecting everything and going under mesh booleans union. And if I drag it aside, you can see this is a separated parts, the history of what's going on. You can see it out here. And this is the end result. So I'll undo that. Knowing that we're just going forward, going to scope, select your object, which is now called polygon surface one. And that really doesn't matter. Go to edit delete by type history right here. And that makes this the final object that is almost ready to be sculpted on. To test this out, go under mesh tools and back to sculpting tools and scope. And now when you scope, well, you can see it's tearing all over the place, but it is sculpting as one piece. Nothing that you really want to happen unless you're doing a cool abstract two dimensional like sculpture, undo. So there's a few things. Look at this tearing that's happening here. Let me go back to my move tool. So we have to correct these connections and also refine the surface. And to refine the surface, let me save this file, save as, and I'll call it sculpt combined, or actually sculpt union right here. This way I always could go back to the original in case I need it. To refine the surface and to correct some of these connections. Now the next part is to make this surface area a lot more dense, but not too dense and also uniform and to fix these edges that are happening here because it's going to be hard to sculpt on that if I start to scope going under edit mesh tools sculpting tools sculpt look see tearing that's going on right here we want to avoid situations like this this is going to happen by retopalizing the mesh which is the restructuring of the vertices around the mesh form along with mirroring the mesh and then retopalizing one more time once you do retopalization, you'll have a mesh that is dense enough to be sculpted upon. It also has some uniformality in it, and you'll be avoiding these potential tearing areas. Select the object and make sure you edit to lead by type history if you haven't already. Go under mesh, retopalize, and open up the properties box. Now I'm going to click on pre process mesh and preserve hard edges. I'm going to set the target count, let's say to 3000. And now I'll click on apply and wait right down here. It's processing and that's not bad. Came out pretty symmetrical, but not totally symmetrical up here, but it's a good start. If your mesh was way crazier than this, you'll see how to correct it. Why is symmetry important? Because when you use a symmetry brush when sculpting or when painting, you want that mesh to have the same vertices on the left and right side to help you do mirroring operations. So to, to fix this a little bit, let me first assign new material to this just so we could see this. Now I'll just assign a blend and wait a moment. Now why is things dragging down? Because this retopalization process is still in the history. So I'm going to edit lead by type history. This way when I do operation, you can see it's going to have a lot quicker. This time I'm assigning new material and I'll click on blend. Instantly, that process happens. The retopalization is live in your history stack until you edit delete by type history, which I highly recommend. All right, the next part is to fix this non-mirroring section, which you might get. So do that. It's gonna be a two-step process. One, select the object and go into mesh, mirror, and just accept the default mirror. You could tweak it a little bit, by just adjusting how it mirrors. But that's all gonna be erased in the next step anyway. So here it's to kind of fix this 
asymmetry that was existing a moment ago. And once you're liking this, just click off, select the object again. And now that we have that line of symmetry, just click on edit delete by type history. And so the final task is to retopolize this again. Going under mesh retopolize using the same properties box. You can leave it at 3000. You can increase it maybe a little bit if you need to. That's your choice. Clicking on apply and just waiting. And let's see the results. Okay, a lot more symmetrical than it was a moment ago. And so that's the process of adding symmetry to your model and also making it a little more dense, getting the form all ready for sculpting. And now when you're done with this, make sure you edge lead by type history so you're not being dragged down that by that retopolization. And now you're ready to sculpt. Go under Edit Mesh, Sculpting Tool, Sculpt, and follow all the other fun videos on sculpting. I'm holding down the B key to make the brush smaller. M keys the magnitude, so let me zoom out for the magnitude. So I'm dragging the left mouse button down, holding down the M key for the strength, which is the magnitude, and again, B key, holding down the left mouse button, dragging left and right, and now you're ready to start sculpting on your model and symmetry is turned on. Now that's a lousy sculpt on my model. When you start out, maybe you just want to do soft moments by blending in here to start to smooth out the rough edges. Dive deeper into sculpting, watch the other videos and you'll be having fun sculpting in no time. This video was focused in on creating a rough form using the union of geometry to describe the volume of the object you want to sculpt. And then restructuring the surface, mirroring the surface and then restructuring again. And don't forget to use edit delete by type history in between the operations this way Maya is just reevaluating what's there in front of it and not just dragging your whole system down. And now your model is ready to be sculpted on. So have a lot of fun sculpting out, following this process to create various forms and share what you do with this technique. Watch the other videos to learn more about sculpting in Maya.